Okay, so I have 73 hours in competitive Valorant and my peak rank is plat 3. <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out. I watched a couple of Valorant videos about aim training in 7 days. So I decided I wanted to try it too. But will I rank up or will I fall down even further? Only one way to find out. Alright, so I got a warm up routine. Stand still shooting the bots for a minute. Strafe shooting for a minute. Flicks for a minute. Eliminated 100 bots from all sides, the front, the left, and the right. And some spray control. Hard bots. And a deathmatch. With the warm up out of the way, we can move on to day one. And day one was fucking trash. I started the day off forgetting to even record the first two games, so I have no footage. But if I were to tell you I carried both those games like tens or yay, I'd be lying. My third game was rough. And I was still really rusty. I was crouch spraying in some fights, but I did manage to get some decent kills. Just stay back there, man. We got to 9-3 and then... We lose 3-13. to My aim didn't feel too bad, but I definitely felt really rusty still. Okay, so my aim is rusty, but I guess my brain's rusty too. I tried to dash over the bomb thinking I'd automatically pick it up, but that's not how it works in this game. I didn't what are you doing? Like, literally, like, I got a nice kill on Phoenix though. I did get two 3Ks after that though. That's it. Nice shot. Well played. We end up losing, but it didn't seem like my raise was too pleased with my omen anyway. Omen, you thought you were the worst player. Bro, you have four more kills to win than me, bro. You're on a duel list. You're smoke on a duel list. Game four. Couple okay kills. Nothing crazy, but hey, at least we won the game. That was the last game of the day, and the last game I needed for my placements, so after that, I went to aim training. Day 2, I did my warm up, did my death match, and I hopped in. Now on this day, first game, I felt kinda crispy, still kinda shaking on the aim, and the rest is still there. Spike planted. Reloading. Sage close to the wall. Spike. Enemy remaining. Right here. Insane. Close game, but we do end up losing. All good. Go next. In this game, I managed to get two kills in this round that I definitely shouldn't have gotten. My aim felt okay. Not too crazy, but in the end, it still ends up being a drawn game. Couple decent headshots in these couple rounds. You know, I feel like the aim training is definitely helping a little bit. But this game also ends in a draw. So that's the end of day two. Back to aim training. Warm up. We shoot the bots. We do the death match. We hop in the game. It's sunset. Crosshair placement. Absolutely awful. I don't know the map. I'm also using the Phantom, so I'm spraying all over the place. But I did end up clutching two separate rounds. Didn't do anything too crazy in this game, but at least we win after having two draws, so grateful for that. Hey boys, good game. This second game, let's just not talk about this second game. Next game, back on Bind, so my crosshair placement is definitely a lot better. Getting more headshots, and we're back on the Vandal. Okay, that's. Definitely not a vandal in that last clip, but whatever. Uh, the rest are hit like a little bit. And we get another dub. Some more decent headshots, even though in this game overall it was a rough game. 
Now, in this round, I was pretty proud of how I was able to stay alive. I feel like I would normally just ego peek and end up dying to all three of these guys. One enemy remaining. Kevin. 40. We lost. Day three concluded. We do the aim training. We shoot the bot. We do the DM. Corner. We end the game. Two nice headshots for Sheriff. What are you doing, bro? Okay, this game is unbelievable. I've never had a game like this in Valorant. I had a KO named Watermelon Eater that just so decided to run it down right until he just Where left the game so and then we just lost 4v5. They might rotate. We can probably go see. Right, it's like my territory, my but obviously, we try to play it out, see if we can win. I get some decent kills here and there, but you know, it is what it is. Side note, I kind of had this chamber's number. Just a little bit. Well, that was the inevitable 4v5 loss. This next game felt infinitely better, though. I definitely felt snappier and crispier in this game, so I was happy about that. One enemy remaining. The FF and it's nice to get my RR back that I lost from my 4v5 game. This game I get a pistol ace. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Fight. Thanks. Shit. Nice. Good shit, Reyna. Decent kills, a little bit of running gun, you know, just typical Valorant stuff. Overall, a smooth game and an easy win. I managed to hit my peak rank. I'm still feeling snappy, crispy, but it's not very consistent yet. Back on the Phantom, so you know we're back to spraying again. 120. But honestly, as long as you're only spraying with the Phantom, it's not too bad, right? I got this interesting clutch round, I guess. Enemy remaining. Good shit, Reyna. Holy fuck. I get complimented and I get another dub. Defenders win. That concludes day four. And we're back with the aim training. If you're still watching, thank you and shout out to you. But you know the drill. Shoot the bot, deathmatch in the game. Oh, and Phoenix DC'd multiple times in this game. Still managed to get a couple decent shots though. Now Sky's AFK. What the fuck is going on? Phoenix DC'd again. And not to mention, he DC'd the first two rounds of the game. And I'm only human, so that definitely tanked my mental. So obviously, we lost, even though we brought it to OT. Okay, some nice shots in this game that I'm decently proud of. But it doesn't matter when your smokes player is AFK four to five rounds at the start of each round. I didn't AFK four rounds, it was like two rounds. But it's whatever, man. You were gone the first minute of the first four rounds. Like, come nah, on. it's alright, bro. I mean, y'all should have done better then. All good, we brush it off. Next game, a couple decent kills as well. Smooth game, got the win. Next game. Nice one tap on the op, a clutch, and a 3k to win the game. You're so good! Now while I'm winning some games and getting some decent kills, 
I feel like my aim isn't even that bad, but at times I'm making it harder on myself. Whether that be instantly crouch spraying or bad crosshair placement, or not stopping before I shoot. I hardly play Valorant consistently, and it shows. I also learned through this that I lack confidence in my gunfights, but when I am confident, plus the aim training, I feel unstoppable. So that brings up that one question. Does aim training actually work? Of course it does. Being able to isolate specific issues in your aim and train them helps immensely. You're basically working out your aim in a sense. I saw bits of improvement myself in these seven days. Did I turn into Demon 1? No. But in a month, or two months, or a year, who knows how good I or you could be. Aim training, we back. Bot. Deathmatch. In game. Day 7. Water on one Pretty standard day. Pretty normal day. Decent shots. I seem to be very good at uh, clutching out C on Lotus. Let's go, waterfall. Waterfall, waterfall. Another dub. I got some decent kills. Not impactful enough to win though. We got pretty stomped. Jesus. The last game of the challenge I learned. No amount of aim training can help you if you can't hold a mouse. Attackers win. God, that was the most undeserved fucking win ever. Jesus. Ugh. I just cannot shoot.